So we got him when he was seven weeks old and we got him from a breeder. Got him, he arrived on an airplane in a little crate and um, you know he's just grown and grown since then. He's had huge paws. He was gaining weight and height really fast as we got him. He's been a great dog um, and he is now the Guinness World Records tallest dog ever that they've ever measured as well as the tallest living dog. He just got that award. So we're proud of him. He's a good boy. And how old did you say he is? He's four years old now. He's obviously, because of his size, it's tough to find a place for him to sleep. Uh, so he has a bed that is right below our bed. It's a queen size bed of his own. His food is propped up really high. It's uh, maybe, I don't know, 18 inches off the ground. And um, so yeah, well, there's a few adjustments compared to a regular dog, obviously just because of his size. But other than that, he's fairly normal. He's, he's, he's just a, a good boy. What kind of reaction do you get from other dog owners? You know, do they kind of freak out? And... Uh, yeah, you hear everything. I mean, you hear people say, that's the biggest dog I've ever seen. Um, oh my gosh, that's a horse. Uh, you hear it all. It's it, the whole gamut of things is what it said. He has been all over. He's been in probably more than a hundred major newspapers around the world. Um, and he's, you know, he's done a lot of things that people might not have heard about. He has a lot of Facebook fans and so forth, but really doesn't change our life much at all. We're not going to let it change our lives.